everybody, it's Isological, and today I've got a video um, demoing a proof of concept experiment I've set up using um, that'll test relative moisture in soil using a Raspberry Pi and a bun and a bunch of sensors. So as you can see over here, the Raspberry Pi is connected by Wi-Fi to my house router, which is in there. I'm in a uh, kind of a guest cottage slash shed, shed thing that my family owns. And anyways, so it's connected to the wall to a 5 volt adapter. And then from there, a GPIO is broken out to connect to a, an analog digital converter. Um, it's connected to these four temp or relative um, humidity sensors, which I'll talk about in a sec, and a photo cell, a temperature sensor. And so what it does is it reads basically the relative moisture sensor is a I'm just splitting a voltage across two nails um, there's gonna be a picture of them in the description and reading the resistance and um, using the analog digital converter and that is giving me basically kind of a binary indicator of whether it's wet or not and uh, so if there's water between the two nails uh, it's more conductive than if there's not, and that value stretches and changes, so depending on how much water is in the soil, and water leaves the soil via evaporating, which I should be able to monitor the rate of using the uh, light detector and the temperature sensor. So over here, here is the computer. Well, here's my computer. So basically this is what the whole system is outputting. It's outputting a table, um, which I'll have a better picture of in the blog description in the blog post but essentially um, it just shows the outputs of the values and then there's a graph which it only has one data point so you can only see the those points there but it'll fill out and it has multiple axes and so um, it's all being done over Wi-Fi like the way I'm running the whole thing is through a VNC session so that way it can just keep going all the time, and I can connect and check in on the Python script when that's going, and I can monitor, I can edit the other stuff without having to have the Raspberry Pi hooked up to anything. But it does the development over Wi-Fi is a little tedious, but yeah, 